Today, I'm headed to Coral Castle. This place has been on my list for a very long time. It, for a fact, I know at least since 2008. So at least 15 years. I have got my Cafe Con Leche. It's not Cafe Con Leche because it's from Starbucks, but it is a flat white. I got breakfast too. Turkey, turkey bacon sandwich. Eh, it was okay. I cut it in half. I got more for later. We'll see. Um, for those of you that don't follow me on TikTok, I, I put my hair in a ponytail like a founding father. And when I cut the ponytail off, I looked <laughs> just like a founding father. So thank you to the stylist that had to create something out of my hot mess that I created yesterday. She was amazing. As we get the show on the road. <sighs> Here we go. Homestead. That's where we're headed to go discover the mysteries of the Coral Castle. Going into this, I knew that the creator, Ed Leedsgadnen, which I will mispronounce a couple times here, my apologies, built this as a muse to the love of his life who called off an engagement before he moved from Latvia. All right, y'all, we are at the oldest attraction in the state of Florida. The famous coral castle museum or as ed would have called it rock rock gate park there's an example of the coral which is actually oolite and look at that old fixture through there right in the middle of your screen I imagine this was the original entrance, the way these gates are. They renamed it Coral Castle about two years after Ed died. And here we are, 103 years later. Just a close-up of the oolite or coral, which in the state of Florida, if you just dig a little bit, not only do you hit water, you hit rock and examples of fossils and fascinating bits you find. Even at my house currently, like we'll dig a little bit and come across shells. Fascinating game. How many tons it was, but one finger needed to open it and come to it. That magic is great. I got some nice umbrellas for you for the heat. And here is Ed directing you to the store. They said Ed was only five foot tall. I'm five six, so see in this gay perspective. My admission today was eighteen dollars. Every roadside attraction needs whimsical, fantastic signs. This is the basement of his house. He gave tours here, so he lived here too. He lived just above the workshop is his home where he had built it. In fact, his sign with his name is still hanging there to this day. These are some of the tools and mechanisms that he used. It's trivial, so it's like the castle is magic. Some of these monuments has been here for over a hundred years. Now, you guys, this monument says made in 1928, 
moved in 1939, then it says born in 1887, Latvia, and Ed, you were a fascinating man, but did aliens help you? Just another side view of his home and workshop. She said this was a fossil of a fish. He built all this for his muse, his love of his life that left him at the altar. Never got married, never had kids, but he never stopped dreaming or building. Many of these structures don't move like they used to, like the one finger door. It weighs 18,000 pounds and with the one finger he was able to push it. Now it no longer moves anymore. But this room, that was meant for Agnes, that was meant for um, their future child that they never had. And the ugly looking chair in the back, that was meant for his mother. <laughs> After he did his stories. Okay, you guys, the sun couch is a the nice throne one. room. It seems I have more questions than answers after actually visiting. Isn't that the point? Then maybe I'll go back again to see Saturn and the moon and the stars. This the lover's chair. These are actually called conversation chairs. I've seen one in a graveyard before, and these are amazing. They are perfect for lovers. From the Billy Idol video. Sweet 16. That was his first chair, too. This is actually when he completed building the telescope. This is actually when he completed building the te telescope in total. If you guys, he built this super precisely. Um, we actually hold events where we do night tours where you guys could come. Exactly. Three times for a guy who was a hundred. You can pounds. see it looking Every through. Exactly. Fascinating telescope is what this is called. Telescope. What shape? An L? Probably. This is actually Florida. Florida. Yeah. <laughs> it's the other side of the rotating door. My perspective changed after I completed two tours in this awesome coral castle. It was a testament to love and art. Coral Castle was amazing, and I've made it to the gravesite of Edward Leedskown, and do apologize, 100% saying it incorrect, Leedskown. We're here. I think I found him. Next to Juan Moreno, Mercedes Castillo, Rafael Castillo. Edward Leeds Leeds Galnen. And I left you a piece of ooh light, sir. Born eighteen eighty seven in Latvia. Died nineteen fifty one. Jackson Memorial Hospital in Miami, Florida. Thanks for going with me. Hope you enjoyed my giddy jaunt. Beautiful. I love a cemetery. Have a good day, y'all. Bye. Miami Memorial Park. What do you think, Bob? Did the aliens do it? Was it just a part of the stars and moons alignment? Or did Ed just use pulley system? <laughs>